All right, going to the dentist's office for a checkup or a procedure can cost a fortune if you don't have insurance. Unfortunately, there are many people in Connecticut in that boat, but the good news is there's a great foundation that helps people get the dental care they need. Dr. Bob Schreiben is co-founder of the Connecticut Mission of Mercy and the founder of the Connecticut Foundation for Dental Outreach. It is so nice to have you back. We love when you come to visit us because we love this mission, first of all. Tell us how it got started and when it got started. It was, I was at a, a meeting in Chicago and somebody showed a video of a free dental clinic in a airport uh, and it was from Kansas. At the end of the meeting I asked, how can we do this? Send me a, a copy of this video. Sent me a copy and told me that Virginia started the project and I called Virginia and asked them if I can come down and see it and they said yes and myself and, and uh, Mike Pearl, Dr. Mike Pearl, we went to Virginia and uh, saw them run this thing and I said to Mike, we're going to do this and we came back to Connecticut and we worked on it for two years. Two years to you put the on pro it. To put the project together. Uh, it cost about $350,000 so we have to raise Oh, that I didn't see. I money. didn't realize it cost that much money. It, it's amazing. Uh, we have to lease the equipment that comes in from the uh, America's Dentist Care Foundation in Kansas. And it's a whole clinic, 100 chairs, and they bring it out in the semi. They, yeah. Wow. It's, you, it's absolutely amazing to see this. And you see an empty room, and, and you've seen the gyms empty, and the room's empty. Yeah. And then full and, and clinic. Where is this year's? It's going to be in Willimantic at the uh, school in, in uh, Willimantic, the Wyndham Middle School. Okay. And how many people do you get to serve every year? This year, the clinic is a 45-chair clinic, so we'll see 400 people a day. Wow. And we'll be doing fillings and cleanings and extractions and root canals. Yeah, we're not just talking about a cleaning here. No, no. We're, I mean, we're, 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 we're talking about, about major, some major dental right. work. We are. If, if we take out front teeth. Uh, we create a flipper, they call it, with a front tooth on it. Yeah. And it, it just, the people go out smiling. And there's nothing, nothing worse than dental pain. And if you're in pain and you go in and you can have it fixed that day, it changes your life. We see emergency and people have been in pain for 10 years. Oh my God. Walking so around awful. and not getting any care. Yeah. I don't know, how, I, don't, I honestly don't know how they do it. They, they come in the night, they stay all night in line. We feed them. We make sure that they're taken care of. We have security for them. Uh, and we open the clinic at 8 o'clock in the morning. And we run it until we finished our last patient. How many dentists participate? Yeah. Uh, we get about 150 to 200, depending on the size of the clinic. And when do you recommend people start getting there? What? It's tough. Get there early. Get there early. <laughs> get there yeah, early. You know, if you want to line in that spot, it'd be one of these 400 people. We get people. people from 169 towns. Isn't that remarkable? Almost every year. It wow. is amazing. Wow. Is it just for Connecticut residents? It, or no, no you we in? don't check anybody. Okay. So right. anybody, you show up, you get in line, and we take care of you. And it's on the honor system, and hopefully you do need the, you right. know, absolutely need we, the work. They do. These, these people, they're working poor. This is the people that just, they're working, they don't make enough money, they have to make decisions. Food, heat, tea. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it, well, how have things changed in the 12 years that you've done it? Uh, actually, not a lot has changed. What we do is we upgrade the equipment. Uh, we try to keep us far into the future with good care for, for the people. Uh, and not much has really changed. We get the people, they line up, come in, to get their care, smile, and we have about 200 that return every year. Really? Huh. And they're healthy. Mm. Now they are dentally healthy. Isn't that great? And helps people get jobs, keeps kids in school. It's, it's an amazing program. It's life changing. When it, it is for a lot of people. Oh, it's huge. It is the, uh, and if you're a dentist out there and you're interested in signing up or helping out, where do we, where do we go for that? You, you go to ctmom.org and there's a registration on there. And we'd love to get a few more dentists for Sunday. Okay. Uh, we're trying to raise, as, you know, get as many and see as many people as possible. I still remember Kevin Hogan carrying the spit buckets. Oh my God! Do you remember that? We still talk about we it. Still, it. I still is. talk about it to this day myself. <laughs> Kevin Hogan carrying the spit buckets was absolutely terrible. And, and he still comes and, and volunteers. Yeah, he's wonderful. That's great. He, he is. He's yeah. an amazing guy. 
Well, thank you again. Thank uh, you. We so appreciate you being here, and uh, this is just going to be terrific. The Connecticut Mission of Mercy Free Dental Clinic is happening at the Wyndham Middle School in Willimantic. It is this Saturday and Sunday. And for details, visit CFDO. Is that, what is it? Okay, yeah, go ahead. CFDO.org slash CTMOM.